Hello beautiful people, welcome to Annie Betty's Kitchen, the channel that makes eating an enjoyable and health promoting experience. Today we are talking about artichokes. So there are two types of artichokes. We've got the globe, this is the globe. And that's the Jerusalem. Honestly, I couldn't find any of the Jerusalem ones. These look like root tubers. You can find the picture somewhere on the screen. That's a Jerusalem artichoke. Honestly, I have no clue why these names, the globe, whether you can find it all over the world, and the Jerusalem, whether you can find it all in Jerusalem. I have no idea. If you do, leave me a comment, yeah? So what inspired this today is I went to my local grocer and to buy artichokes and he was like, do you know how to cook it? I was like, I'm a chef boy. And he was like, oh, if you do teach me. I said, you know what? I've got a YouTube channel, subscribe, and I'm going to film it all for you. And he's like, he was like, if you are able to do that because my customers have been asking about this. How do you cook it? How do you cook it? So if you're able to do this, my customers will love you. So then there you go. Okay. So and another thing about these artichokes, they are packed with so much antioxidants. So if you are looking to boost your immune system, this is your go-to vegetable. So preparing this is quite um, an interesting task. But once you get a hand of it, it's not that complex. So what you do is you cut the bottom bit, the side you cut it off. And we cut this side. You have to use a very nice, um, a very sharp knife as it's quite tough. Then we take these off. And once you snap, I got this around Wednesday, so the freshness is gone down. Once you snap, the meaty part, the ones that are left are edible, but these leaves are not. So we just throw them away. Or you can use your kitchen scissors to snap it off. Okay. Then what I do is I cut it in two. And this side. You don't have to throw it away. You can use it. So you just tidy it up and you can use the as a snap. So why it has the name artichoke? This is called the choke. This. This fibrous thing. When you eat it, it's like it's thread like so you take it off you can either take it off before cooking it or after so i'm going to do both i need to take all these out With this, i'm going to show you the second part we'll leave the choke in and cook it then afterwards we take it out so again we cut this part And I'll have to take these pies off. There's nothing in them, so I'll take it off with the scissors. We take these pies off, and this part has got a meaty part where you can eat. The leaves don't have anything, they are quite spiky. So we take them off. Let me peel this side. So when it's fresh, so you see this side when you snap it the ones that are left they've got the edible part in it so i'm taking these bikes off when we cut the bit we need to cut off. and we cut the side off it's quite tough so make sure your scissors is sharp your knife sorry is sharp and we are going to cook it and after we cook it becomes really easy to take the choke out so i'm going to put it in the 
I'm going to steam it. You can boil, but if you go to steamer, you can just steam it. And this will take about 30 to 40 minutes. It takes quite a long time to cook. So I'm giving it 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we'll check if it's cooked. Let me give it 20. Sometimes it takes 40 to 25 minutes, depending on um, the type of artichoke. So let me give it 25. When we test and it's done, then we take it off. So let's try. If it's ready, when you. Yep, it's ready. The knife should be able to go through. So it's ready. So, ah. Uh, artichokes are ready this is the one i cooked by removing the um, chokes from and this is the one i left and you can just scoop it it comes out really clean just scoop it like that and like i said it's not poisonous it's just that it's thread like it's like chewing threads and it, it can choke you when you do that's why it's called Attitude, so that's the choke. We take the choke out. Comes out clean. Let's take this one up. I love my artichoke grilled. Sometimes I grill, sometimes I don't bother when I don't have too much time. And what I do is it's lovely when you add a bit of butter, but um, butter burns quickly. So in order for it not to become a trans fat, trans means it's become like acidic. You don't get any nutritional benefit from it and it, it kills all the nutrient benefits in whatever food you have. I add vinaigrette. I'll add the link. You'll find it up there. I'll add the link to the vinaigrette recipe. I add vinaigrette to it. Then I grill it and it gives it this smoky texture and taste. So I'm going to grill this and we'll use this to prepare salad and we'll use that to prepare salad as well. So here he goes. So I just need to re oh sorry. Grill. Well, function. Grill. Then reduce it to five. It's already cooked, so I just want the smoky flavour. So all these sides we take off and it will be left with, that's why it's called the heart of artichoke, it will be left with just the heart. This part, the meaty part you can eat, so let me show you this part, you can eat it. So I add it to my salads, but let me take the heart out then we'll come back to it. All these there are, like my son would say, they are very chewy, so it's not pleasant eating it. So this, so this is all we need. And this is filled with so much antioxidant. So what I do is I cut it up and put it in my salad. We are going to use this for salad and I'll do the same for this. So this portion, the meaty one, the rest, they are very chewy. You can tell it's so soft, the edible part. So I take them all off and add it to my salad. So it's ready. Trust me, it's not burnt. The edible part is not burnt. It's grilled. It's going to give us this lovely flavor. So I've got my vegetables all washed here and some salad. So I've got spinach, this rocket, and watercress. I've got another kitchen toy. You know me and my kitchen toys here. This is a salad spinner. Comments if you've reused a salad spinner. So what you do is you just close it, wash your salad close it and just spin and it takes all the water out <laughs> it's case 
favorite thing now. He says, Mommy, let me spin, let me spin. Okay. And this, ta-da! No water. So you don't need a kitchen tissue to um, take the water out. It's all gone. Look. Yeah. I'll be bringing you more toys. So, I like to use the scraper to give me this pearl. I, I, I feel it makes it beautiful. So, however you want to cut your vegetable. So, I'm using carrot, cucumber, radishes and the artichokes with some prawns. So, we are making artichoke and prawns salad. So, with cucumber, if you are making it for a picnic or taking it away or it will sit for a while, take out the seeds. I'm doing it and we are going to eat straight away. You can take out the seeds this way because they tend to make it go watery quickly. But if you are doing it to make, um, you are preparing your salad to eat straight away, then you can leave the seeds in it. These are the radishes. You slice it any how you want it I like I like slicing it really thin or whatever shape or form you prefer so I'm going to add the so this is just the steamed one the artichokes and I'm going to add the grilled one as well the grilled one I love the flavors it's beautiful try grilling it people and you will thank me I don't waste any at all so the meaty part of the leaf the leaf is very chewy but this part I add all to it so no waste no waste at all then first let me get the hat out then we'll do the rest so people a salad is ready and you can have just this you know you don't need any thing else but yeah, like I said, we are having this as a meal, so I'm balancing it with the protein with the prawns. I'm going to mix this up together. And I like to season my salad, so I'm going to add a bit of pepper and salt. And we've got our vinaigrette to go in. I'll add the link for the vinaigrette recipe. Try and season your salad. It makes it beautiful. And with that, you don't need much pressing on it. So people, these are the artichokes on top and it tastes so nice, it tastes meaty, it's, it's beautiful, especially when you grill it, you get the smoky flavor and you can use it as your appetizer for your salads, it's just beautiful, just try it and it's packed with so much goodness, let me, let me give it a, let me make sure it's that tasty. And it goes so well with the prawns. You can add chicken. So not just the prawns, chicken, your fish. Or just as a starter. Yeah, it's beautiful. With a bit of the vinaigrette. I'm salivating already. Hope you add to because it's that good. Let me try it. You need to try it. It's good. Really good. I'll be bringing you more recipes with artichokes so you know the different variations you can have. If you haven't done so already, subscribe, hit the notification button so you know first time whenever a new video is uploaded. Until I see you again next week, remember your health is your greatest asset. You are what you eat. Let your food be your only medicine and remember apps are made in the kitchen see you again next week ciao